Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today I've got more slimes for you. So if you didn't know, I have printed some slimes in the past, and these are from a game called Slime Rancher. Um, it's a really fun game. You should definitely check it out on Steam. So in the first iteration, I created the two pink slimes, the rock slime, and the tabby slime over here. And then in the next iteration, I created the boom slime, phosphor slime, honey slime, and the rad slime. If you want to check out either of these videos, I will put a link up in the eye in the corner here to a playlist. You can check these out for yourself. Now these are some of my most popular models, uh, mostly I think because they're easy to print. Mostly anyway, I think the phosphor slime can be a little difficult to print because these little antenna here. So if you've played Slime Rancher for any amount of time, you know that that's not all there is. So today we are adding more slimes. First up, we have the Puddle Slime. Now this is actually the newer version of the model. Um, the original models pretty much looked like the pink slimes, they were just blue. Um, so these have been updated to look more like puddles. And if you look close, you can actually see that he is blushing, which is one of the new features as well. Next up, we have the Gold Slime. Now these guys are pretty hard to find in game, but I still think they're pretty cute. These are pretty much like the normal slimes. They're just a little more pointed on the top and their expression's just a little bit different. And then last, but certainly not least, I think this is actually my favorite out of this set, is the Lucky Slime. Now this is pretty much like the Tabby Slime, but it's got this coin on the top here and um, just painted differently. I absolutely love this one. So here is my third batch of slimes. Now, uh, none of these need to be printed with support and they work out great as little test prints because they do have a slight overhang on the bottom so you can see how well your printer and your filament of choice um, handle these types of things. And there's little details on each of these models that uh, can really help determine how well your settings are dialed in. But I think in the future I need to add a new base because this one's pretty full so I might do that at some point. And I still have more slimes to print. Um, there's uh, one more batch of the basic slimes that I can print and that will be coming um, pretty soon actually. I will actually be adding the tar slime and then the two new ones, the hunter slime and the crystal slime. So I'm pretty excited about those. And if you like this type of thing, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss out. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have fun printing these new little slimes. I know I've got a few fans out there that are really looking forward to these. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.